For certain animations, like web banners, it may be necessary to inject certain snippets of code or even entire code libraries within your published HTML in order to support various publishing platforms. Here we have a basic web banner. So what we want to do is actually add to our published HTML a little bit of JavaScript code. In order to do this, we'll use HTML5 Canvas templates. These can be found within the published settings for the document. So under JavaScript slash HTML, if we go to the HTML slash JS tab, we can see template for publishing HTML is now set to the default template. However, we're able to import a new template. This would be a custom template that would have a bit of code inserted within the rest of the HTML in order to comply with whatever specific ad network you're working with. Now, of course, you're going to need somewhere to start, and that's where this export button comes in. So if we click export, we'll be able to find a export destination here and give it a specific file name. This is going to export as HTML and just hit save when you've located the desired destination. If you then go ahead and locate that HTML from the destination and open it up in a code editor, you'll be able to view and edit the contents of that template. So as you can see in the notes, you have a number of different tokens here that are represented with the dollar sign. You should only write your custom code wherever it's mentioned in comments. So for instance, on line 16 here, write your code here. There's a note that all occurrences of existing tokens are replaced by their appropriate values. So for instance, here is where the create.js library scripts are output at line 18. Blank lines are removed automatically, and you should remove any unnecessary comments before creating the template. And if we scroll down, we can see that here is where the head ends and the body begins. Usually, you'll need to place your code someplace before the head ends, especially if it's some sort of custom JavaScript library. Once you've prepared your HTML5 template using the instructions provided by your ad network, you can then save this template. And going back to animate, you can import a new custom template. So here's our custom.html. Let's go ahead and open that. So now we see template for publishing HTML is using a custom template. All right, now whenever we publish, it's going to use the custom template with our specific code given to us by the ad network in order to make our HTML5 ads compatible with their platform.